If you look really closely, you can actually see the spin of the tornado off on the left-hand side of the video. It goes from sort of peaceful to sort of total chaos just in that few minutes of time. This security camera captured the tornado as it roared into Marshalltown. As the sky darkens, winds reaching 140 miles an hour send debris flying through the air. Our building was dead in the center of the tornado when it hit. Mike Miller is the president and CEO of Raycom. The company supplies radio communications for 300 public safety agencies in Iowa. Some of the tree damage, it goes 100 or 200 yards north of here. Standing on the roof of the Raycom building, Miller shows us the widespread damage still visible nine months after the storm. You can still see contractors working today at, at people's homes. And so a lot of people were walking around just, they didn't know what to do. Just like stunned. Yeah. No one was more stunned on July 19th than Miller himself after Raycom took a direct hit from the tornado. This cell phone video taken shortly after shows walls blown out of the five story building. I got out and looked up and the whole building was torn apart and I thought somebody had to die and our business is going to be over. Fortunately, neither one of those would come true. 12 employees inside survived the storm and so did the most important equipment. When I walked up, it was just insulation everywhere, no ceiling anymore. Things were tipped over, um, but the key most important servers like those over there in that corner stood just exactly like that. Miller calls it a miracle. With the server still standing, police and dispatchers still had their lifeline of communication. Every Marshtown police officer, Marsh County Sheriff's deputy, every time they hit push to talk on the radio, it's controlled from this building and specifically from those racks of servers right there. Not only did Raycom keep the servers up and running, but it set up this temporary dispatch center in its building. Marshall County 911. Never heard before audio recordings give a glimpse of the chaos that day as terrified Marshalltown residents called 911. Uh, reporting a tornado testing down on top of the veterans home. Yes, we're aware. Get into the basement. Thank you. Marshall County 911. My mom is driving. She was driving home. I think she's on Summit Street and a tree fell on her car. And I don't know if she's OK. This is dash cam video of Marshalltown police responding to call after call. Without radio communication, their search and rescue would have been extremely difficult. There's no doubt um, in my mind that lives were saved that day because our uh, public safety radios stayed up and active the whole time. I'm as proud as I could be that that we were able to pass pass that test. Nearly nine months later, Raycom still shows all the signs of that terrifying day. Broken glass and ripped off siding, $7 million in damage that could take nine more months to fix. We've decided that we're going to rebuild it nicer, more modern, uh, even stronger. One lasting sign of the storm's strength is this bent metal flagpole in the front of the building. Miller is considering leaving it that way as a reminder. It did bend Marshalltown. It, it did hurt us a lot, you know. Um, we have years of recovery ahead of us, but it didn't break us.